Hey guys, it's Emma. Welcome back or welcome if you're new. In today's video, I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to look up fonts very quickly. So for instance, I want to make a fun cup personalized for me. Just have a cup with, you know, vinyl lettering on the side that says Emma. So what I would do is I would go to my design space and I would type in Emma. And let's say I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want this font. Maybe I want a different font. So typically what you would do is just go through the list and, oh, well, how about this one? Oh, that's okay. Let's try this one. Oh, wow. That's not what I'm looking for, right? So that's the long way to do it. There's a much quicker way. What you would do is you're going to go to your Internet Explorer. You're gonna go to wordmark.it, which is gonna take you to this free website. And the way this works is it's gonna pull any font that was already in your computer when you purchased it, and then any font that you have downloaded and um, put on your computer. Now keep in mind, if you've purchased a font and you're just keeping it in a file on your computer, they're not gonna show up. It's only the fonts that you have downloaded. So I'm going to type in Emma, because that's the phrase or word that I'm looking for and voila, it's gonna pull up every single font that I have. Um, the other really awesome tool that you can use here is if you just can't decide, you wanna look at a, a few of them at the same time, um, you can just go through and just keep clicking on the different names and or the different fonts and just you know get yourself a few, go down the list. And then what you do is up here in the right-hand corner, there's a section that says filter selected fonts. We're going to click those and there you go. There's all your different options all in one place and I was able to do it super quick. Um, let's just say that I want this affirmations. So I would go back to my design space and I'm just going to type in, you can just start typing in a few different word letters and there you go. There's your affirmations. And voila, you've got your font that you're going to use. Now, one thing that's super important when you're cutting this on your vinyl, you need to make sure that this is welded together. If I zoom in, you can see there is a line right here. That means that your Cricut is going to cut that. Well, when you're doing a, a word or a phrase like this that's going to be in cursive and you want it as one and to make it look really pretty when you're putting it on a cup, per se, you want to make sure that those lines disappear. Now, to do that, what you need to do is um, gonna highlight the, the letter, or sorry, the word. You're gonna come down here and click Weld. And that's going to make it, zoom in again, how this is all welded together now. And it's gonna cut basically the outline of the word and not each letter individual. So there you go, a really quick tip and trick on how to come up with a font very quickly without having to go line by line through your fonts in your Cricut Design Space. If you like this video and have any suggestions for other ones, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Um, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you next time.